And of all the announcements of the features and the releases, I think this is the one that will make the most people happy, some visibility into what's happening with our usage limits. And this is available in the Cloud Desktop app, as well as in Cloud Code. I'm just gonna show you, you go to settings, you can then go to usage, and it gives you visibility into your usage of your current session and your weekly limits for all models and for Opus only. Now, obviously over the last few hours, I've only been using Cloud Sonnet 4.5. My current session, 6% is used. I think it's pretty good. I haven't compared this to CC usage yet, but this is showing the same thing within Cloud Code and Cloud Desktop. In Cloud Code, you just do slash usage and you see the same thing. And I really hope this will paint a clear picture for us to understand our current status when it comes to hitting the context window on a daily, hourly, and monthly basis. Anthropic just released Cloud 4.5 Sonnet today. And with it came a lot of new features and functionality. In this video, we're gonna take a first look at all the announcements that came along with the Cloud 4.5 Sonnet drop, including the new Cloud Code, the new Cloud Code ID extension, the Agents SDK, the new content editing feature, and my overall first impression on this new version. So let's go. So here we see the initial announcement introducing Cloud Sonnet 4.5. I know a lot of people have been waiting for a new version of Cloud. And the real question is, will this model and the new version of Cloud Code make up for the last month of degradation and reduced service that a lot of us Anthropic users have been feeling. I know plenty of people that have canceled or downgraded their Cloud plans. Time will tell if usage limits, rate limits, and overall performance is enough to bring a lot of users back. Among claiming it's the best coding model in the world, they also say it's the best model using computers. And that's a big thing they've emphasized today. They've also added checkpoints to Cloud Code. This is something that a lot of us have been asking for for a while. They've also given Cloud Code a new coat of paint and a native VS Code extension that right now is only working for me in VS Code. They also added a context editing feature and memory tool. Basically what it does is it edits the context itself as time goes on. So in general, if you use MCP or tool calls, you know that MCP and tool calls take up a lot of context, but a lot of those tool calls become irrelevant as time goes on. So what this new feature does is it finds those tool calls that are irrelevant and kind of compacts them. They also brought code execution and file creation to the Cloud app, and they made Cloud for Chrome available to everyone on the Max plan. And the thing I'm most excited for is the Cloud Agent SDK. Now this was previously the Cloud Code SDK. This was a way to replicate Cloud Code to build your own agents. And what I've been doing over the last few months is I made a bunch of sub agents that worked within Cloud Code that weren't specifically for coding tasks. And then when they released the Cloud Code SDK, I was recreating those sub agents into my own agents. And it looks like the new Cloud Agent SDK is an improvement of the previous Cloud Code SDK. And this is huge. I'm saying this is not only for coding anymore, this is for general agent creation. So I'm really excited about this one. Now just looking at the benchmarks they provide, they show that Cloud 4.5 is better at software engineering than even Opus 4.1, GPT-5 Codex, Gemini 2.5 Pro. And in my opinion, benchmarks don't mean much because they choose what they put in the benchmarks. And as we know, the model performs differently at different times and not always the same as it does when it's released. They also released this bonus research preview within Cloud Desktop. To be honest, I think it's just kind of gimmicky. I haven't really figured out a good use case for it. They show you this desktop kind of to highlight their computer use abilities. And then on another paper they released, Managing Context on the Cloud Developer Platform. Today we're introducing new capabilities for managing your agent's context. With our latest model, Sonnet 4.5, these capabilities enable developers to build AI agents capable of handling long running tasks at higher performance and without hitting context limits or losing critical information. It's really rich coming from Anthropic. Context management solves this in two ways helping developers ensure only relevant data stays in context and valuable insights get preserved across sessions. Context editing removes stale content while preserving the conversation flow, effectively extending how long agents can run without manual intervention. This also increases the effective model performance as Cloud focuses only on relevant context. We see how it looks before context editing, and we see how it looks after context editing. The amount of context tool use one to result one initially had got greatly shortened and it opened up a lot more context in the context window. They also added a memory tool, which enables Cloud to store and consult information outside the context window through a file-based system, which can then build up knowledge bases over time and maintain project state across sessions. And then the example they showed here is pretty cool, having Cloud play Catan or Katan, however you want to call it, against a bunch of other players, memorize the way those players play the game, and then make decisions based on that. Don't cheat at Katan. And they break it down that for coding agents, context editing clears old file reads and test results, while memory preserves debugging insights. But, and here's the big but, this is only available in the Cloud API. So not really relevant right now if you're using Cloud Code on one of the subscription plans or using Cloud Desktop. Then they have another page enabling Cloud Code to work more autonomously. So they're announcing Cloud Code version 2.0. It says Cloud Code can now handle longer, more complex development tasks in your terminal and IDE. We'll see about that, time will tell. 
They also have a VS Code extension, similar to the Codex IDE extension. And this is the part that I'm most excited about, the Cloud Agent SDK, formerly the Cloud Code SDK, gives access to the same core tools, context management systems, and permissions frameworks that power Cloud Code. And then they go into more detail about the new checkpointing feature in Cloud Code. It's important to emphasize here, checkpoints apply to Cloud's edits and not user edits or bash commands. And therefore, they recommend using them in combination with version control. Get checkpoints also have their faults. And if you're editing code, it's best to have the most control you can. Commit often, it's easy to roll back on your own as well. And lastly, I just took a deep dive into the agent SDK overview. There's a migration guide if you want to move over what you're building with the Cloud Code SDK. Now, if you go to Cloud Desktop, you'll now see Sonic 4.5 and Opus 4.1. If you go down to more models, you can see the previous Sonic 2.7 and Opus and Haiku 3.5. So far, I haven't hit rate limits. That doesn't mean that we're not going to see rate limits. I can only imagine over the next few days as more people use it, Anthropic will be bogged down. This last month and a half has been a real reality check for anyone who's using Claude code on a daily basis. All I want is a consistent, solid experience with Claude with reasonable rate limits and context limits not getting cut off mid-chat. So far in the last few hours, I haven't had those problems. Time will tell what actually happens after this release. Okay, so now I opened up a new project in VS Code. What I did here is I just added two MCB servers, Chrome DevTools and Context 7. Now, if we want to see the new VS Code extension, you just click here. And very similar to the Codex ID extension, it now has a GUI. We can actually run slash commands within the GUI. So if I do slash MCP, I see the MCP servers that I've installed, the ones I have right here. Unfortunately, a feature that I've been waiting for is the ability to toggle on MCP servers and their tools at runtime. But that doesn't look like it's the case, at least not now. We also see if you put a slash in there, you see the options available. Resume conversation, clear conversation, mention a file, attach a file, select model, MCP, login, and here are all the available slash commands. One thing that I like about this extension is if I select a few lines of code, it knows what part of the code you're looking at, whereas Codex still doesn't have that ability yet. Now, if we open up the terminal, we see the new Claude code interface. Claude 2.0, you see the model, Claude 4.5, and Claude Max. If I do slash model, we only see two options now. I don't see plan mode whatsoever. I see default, which is Sonic 4.5, or Opus, which is 4.1. Previously, there was an option I really liked called plan mode, which used Opus 4.1 to plan, and then Sonic 4.0 to execute. So it's not an option here in select model, but if you come to the IDE extension, you can click through and find plan mode here. And if we do shift tab in Cloud Code, we still have plan mode available. I'm willing to bet it's Sonic 4.5 because I'm saying it's even better than Opus 4.1. I actually prefer to run plan mode in the IDE extension because Instead of showing you the whole plan in the chat, like it would in the CLI, it shows it to you as a markdown file, which is just cleaner. But one thing that I don't like about the ID extension is hitting enter to press yes and audio accept it doesn't work for me. I have to click it with the mouse. And I know it's silly, but it just takes me out of my flow. So some pros and cons there. So I just want to look at slash context. There's nothing in this project except these two MCB servers, context seven and Chrome DevTools. And according to this, we're already at 40%. Now, we have this new section reserved and you see it's for auto compact and output tokens. So what I want to do now is just remove these MCP servers, clear the startup cloud again, produce slash MCP. We have no MCP servers configured. Now let's look at a completely empty context. There should be nothing in here. And we start at 30%. The bulk of it is in this reserve section, auto compact and output tokens. That's 22.5%. The really interesting question is what it will look like when you have a larger code base with more tools or MCP servers, longer conversations, seeing how fast we hit the context window. So I'll do a follow-up video when I get more experience with that. So that's a first look at the announcement of Cloud 4.5 with the new Cloud Code, the new IDE extension. As I said, I'm most excited about the Cloud Agent SDK. Over the next few days, I'll dig deeper into Cloud and be able to really give you guys an understanding of if this model is better, rate limits, usage limits, etc. So far, everything has been fine. Let me know what you guys think. If you have any questions or want me to try something, thank you guys for watching. Have a good day.